Hello everybody, welcome back to the EAPicks.com TV show. I'm your host, Tony He Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep up to date with all our latest pick offerings. Alright, now it's time to go out to Las Vegas, Nevada. Reintroduce the show, Dave the Meat Man Scandaliato from PayAfterYouWin.com. Well, Dave, it's a one and one day for you on Action from Monday Nights. It was a one and one day, but it was the right kind of one and one day. I got I to gotta cool off a little bit, Tony. It's a little, little hot in here. You know, I'm in Las Vegas. I've been downtown. I got to... I got to cool off a little bit. You know, Dallas in the second half, man, that was like stealing. That was like stealing money. I got Dallas for the whole game plus 13 and a half. If you waited till the second half with the end game wagering at William Hill, it couldn't have got any easier for the meat man tonight. So, yeah, I did start out with a loser, and it did look like I was going to have two losers. It looked like it was going to be a brutal night, but – uh not only did I get back my Charlotte Bobcat money with the Dallas Mavericks, but uh, just pounded them in the second half. I mean, you, you just know these games are not going to be blowouts. None of them have been blowouts. I mean, uh, there's no reason to think that anybody's going to blow anybody out, especially a road team on, a, on, a, 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 on, a, on, a, on another team's home floor. And, uh, yeah, I was a little uh, nervous going to the window, you know, knowing I was down in the Bobcats with that, that 330 and then I had another 550 on the on the Mavericks so I was already in for 880 and you know to pull out another 500 out of my pocket was a little little tough but uh, when it was all said and done the meat man Clicks. got the money brother that's I got it I got the money that's the bottom line I got the money it doesn't matter how you get there yeah I mean I got a one point lead Da Vinci misses a 10 footer Next thing you know, my guy's on the ground kicking somebody, a technical, he's ejected. I go from having a, the lead in the game with the ball of being down and blah, 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 blah. But the bottom line is. That's the bottom line. You that's the that. bottom line. That's the bottom line right here, Tony. The bottom line is I'm downtown in Las Vegas, picked up about eight bills. I'm going out, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm on a little staycation here in Las Vegas. I'm on a little staycation. I, You know, I got a lot of comps around town, you know, because I, I put the money up. You know, you got to, you know, the Vegas will give you anything you want if you bring money. You know, if you don't bring no money, you're not going to get nothing. Nope. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Yes. All right. If you don't bring no money, you don't expect anything from, from Las Vegas. That's right. All right, Dave, we're going to take a look here at a game uh, from... Tuesday night, Western Conference affair here between Memphis and Oklahoma City. Uh, these games have been close. Uh, we find the line here, OKC favored 6.5, total 186.5. Game one ahead to Memphis Grizzlies. They're getting blown out at the half. Did the same thing. Went bet them in the second half. Wound up losing the game. Grizzlies came all the way back. Cut it to two. Cut it to two, and then uh, by the time it was all said and done, Oklahoma City got the cover, but I did get the second half money. But game two, I had the Memphis Grizzlies, winner. Game three, I had the Memphis Grizzlies, winner. Game four, I had the Memphis Grizzlies, winner. Game five, I'm going right back with the Memphis Grizzlies. You'd have to have your head examined to give this team uh, uh, seven points. I mean, you'd have to be nuts. Uh, kind of like tonight with the uh, uh, Atlanta Hawks and the Indiana Pacers. Now, I'll be the first guy to admit I'm not going to sleep well tonight, even though even though I got all of this and life is good, how I don't have the Hawks tonight getting seven against Indiana is beyond me. How I didn't have that, I I don't know. I don't know. Now, obviously, Oklahoma City, they're much better than the Indiana Pacers. They weren't up until about a month ago when Indiana had the best record in the NBA, but uh, something happened to the Pacers along the way. I mean, for them to be down 20 at the half, but I miss that one. I miss that. The bottom line is, if the series is tied up at two, I'm not laying seven points. You got to have your head examined, especially when you take into consideration that once again, Memphis has beaten Oklahoma City six out of the last nine times in the playoffs. They should have beat them last time. They should have a three-one lead. They really blew uh, game four, and uh, I think it's an easy call to make. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to put on it. Like I said, I'm up, uh, I don't know, about 1500 in a series or so. So, I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to put five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800. I don't know what I'm going to do. But uh, like I said, this is an easy call for me to make because I'm playing with the house's money. I think the Memphis Grizzlies uh, 
to continue to own the Oklahoma City Thunder against the, uh, the point spread. I'll take uh, the Grizzlies uh, in a 2-2 series uh, uh, on the road, uh, plus uh, plus seven. All right, Dave, the Meet Me at Scandal Auto Pay After You Win dot com says go ahead and take the points here, the, the, the six and a half uh, against the Memphis Grizzlies. All right, Dave, we got two other games on tap here for Tuesday night, and I know you have a, a special offer out there for the audience when they give you a call on your comp pick hotline at eight 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 three seven five twenty seven ten. Yep, you give me a call, I'll give you two days worth of plays. I've just been chopping wood the last couple of days, uh, going one and one, one and one, one and one. I got a customer at Pay After You Win. He goes, you know, I use this other service that says Pay After You Win. He goes, when I go one and one with them, they charge me for the one pick that wins. And uh, it's like having to pay, even though you split, you juiced out. And I told him, I said, well, you go one and one with me, you get all your money back. You get a big refund. So... The last couple of days, I'll be the first guy to admit, we're not winning any money, but we're not losing any money. And, you know, when you're winning it like I was winning, a, 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 you know, not too long ago, and then you you go on a little a dry streak, you know, as long as you're not giving nothing back, you know, that that's the bottom line. And that, that's what it is. I'm not, I'm not giving anything back. So, you know, the last couple of days, like I said, I'm not making any money. I'm not losing any money. But uh, Tuesday looks like a, uh, an interesting day. To bet some uh, some NBA. So if you're struggling, you need a winner like a guy in a hospital needs blood. You tired of dealing with people who don't bet on the games? Don't put their money where their mouth is. Give me a call. Talk directly with me, Dave Scanley, out of one eight 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 three seven five twenty seven ten one eight 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 three seven five two seven one zero. And uh, let's see if we can't get this turned around. Uh, we're still in the first round of the NBA playoffs. We're still going all the way to the end of June. We still got two months of this to go. We got a long way to go. So uh, don't throw in the towel yet. Don't don't quit now. Give me a call. Let's uh, let's talk it over. And uh, let me show you that uh, you can make money. You can make money betting NBA playoff basketball. And, of course, don't forget, now, every play that I give you is a release at my picks website, payafteryouwin.com. I'm known as the meat man because I own meatandpotatoes.com. But my pick selling website is payafteryouwin.com, www.payafteryouwin.com, payafteryouwin.com. And uh, don't forget, now, every play, that I release at uh, payafteryouwin.com is monitored and documented at eapix.com. the letter E, the letter A, the word picks.com. And uh, eapix.com is uh, rapidly becoming the number one sports monitor on the Internet. And uh, the bottom line is it's all about transparency over there. Uh, number one, you get to see uh, the picks from the handicappers, uh, uh, 30 minutes after uh, each game starts. And as you know, 30 minutes into a basketball game, nobody knows who's going to win. Dallas was up 9-2. to two. So maybe you put Dallas in there. Then the next thing you know, the Spurs are up 15. Maybe you put the Spurs in there. Then the next thing you know, Dallas is up 1, loses by 4. So what I'm getting at is 30 minutes into a basketball game, into a football game, into a baseball game, we're not talking a lot of time. Uh, you know, in a basketball game, we're still in the first quarter. In a football game, we're still in the first quarter. In a baseball game, we're still probably in the second inning. So you can see what each handicapper has right after uh, the game start. Now, also at uh, eapicks.com, they use the current line from Chris, Costa Rica International Sports. Of course, that is where the line originates. And, of course, they have their uh, sister site, their uh, American Post-Up uh, site, which is uh, bookmaker.eu. So when you go and put in a game at eapix.com to get monitored, you don't get to make up your own point spread. You don't get to take the best of the number. You don't get to take uh, a line that uh, nobody has access to. Now, I post these videos all over the Internet, and uh, I actually got a response from uh, one of the guys at uh, VegasInsider.com. Uh, 
His name's Paul or Paulina Boba Basada. I'm not sure what his name is. He's, he's one of those who's at handicappers. When I was at VegasInsider.com, it was owned by CBS Sportsline. It was a big-time operation with a bunch of handicappers or who the who's who in the industry. Now it's full of guys, and you say, who's that? <laughs> who's that guy? Never heard of him. This is the category that this clown falls under. Now, he posted this. Let me read it here. Let me go ahead and read it here. Let me make sure I read it. He posted this on the Internet. He posted this on the Internet because I say during the videos that the handicappers in Vegas Insider uh, get to put whatever point spread they want, and they always get the best available number. So he writes, we don't, he goes, Vegas Insider gives you the best number available. He says uh, 10 out of the last 13 and 15 out of the last 23, uh, my plays were assigned to five dimes spread at the time of the post which shows a deal, a fair line. Well, I don't know about all that. Uh, basically, the game that you were releasing, uh, if, if Vegas Insider uses 10 places for the point spread, they gave him the best available number. It says uh, uh, they use uh, others, uh, the Greek, uh, Sportsbook.com, Heritage, Caesars Palace out in Las Vegas, of course, which is the Harris Group, uh, SDB Global. Uh, it says... Uh, uh, it doesn't uh, seem so terrible. The point is, we do not choose our own line, nor can we buy half points. Well, you don't have to choose your own uh, line, uh, Paul, when uh, the company that you work for is just going to give you the best available number. And and look at tonight. Now, look at the Spurs-Mavericks game. Uh, San Antonio was a four-and-a-half point favorite everywhere on the Don Best screen. Everywhere. There's 15 sports books on a Don Best screen. 14 of the 15 had San Antonio minus four and a half. One of them, Jazz Sportsbook, they had San Antonio minus four. So every handicapper that submitted a play at Vegas Insider today either pushed or won. If you took the Dallas Mavericks, Vegas Insider automatically gave you four and a half. If you took San Antonio, Vegas Insider automatically gave you four. What kind of nonsense is that? I mean, come on. Come on. You got one sports book out of 15 on the Don Best screen that's got a four. Everybody else has four and a half, and you're going to get graded on a four? Stop. Stop it. Come on, man. That ain't how this works. Don't get fugabooed in the buying picks from a handicapper who every time he releases a play, his record is graded with the best of the number, okay? Don't get fooled into that. you got a lot of guys out there tonight that were on the Spurs that are taking wins and pushes where they should be taking losses. Doesn't sound like a big deal. You do that five, six, seven times out of every hundred plays, you go from a 48, 49% handicapper to a 55, 56% handicapper. And and believe me, uh, uh, that's a big difference uh, uh, from going from winning to losing. And uh, Vegas Insider, the once mighty proud VI.com owned by CBS Sportsline, now has people like a who's who in his bovi guy, whatever his name is, uh, I saw him the other day, Tony. He was sitting down in a chair. I swear to God, in the in the in the William Hill, I went to sit in the chair. I didn't even see somebody was sitting in the in the thing. That's how little he is. I, I, if I would have sat on this dude, I would have crushed him. He was sitting right there. He looked like a child. I'm surprised security didn't ID him. But the bottom line is, man, I'm telling you, don't get scammed out there. There's a lot of people out there that. Uh, don't care whether you win or not. All they care about is them putting money in their pocket. Me, I like putting money in my pocket. I'll be the first guy to admit it. I like putting money in my pocket. I like I like money. I, I, I like money, but I also like making people money. And if you don't make money, then I don't get paid. It's as simple as that. You don't make money, I don't get paid. Give me a call. 
Let me show you how to make money betting sports. 1-888-375-2710. I'm on my little staycation right now, but I'd love to talk to you because there's money to be made on Tuesday betting NBA basketball. All right. Uh, be sure to visit, as I said, our, our modern site here is eapicks.com, and you'll be able to uh, check today's picks, and uh, you'll be able to see all the plays once th- uh, 30 minutes after they go off. All right, let's review our conversation tonight with David Meat Man Scandaliato. He says from the NBA, go ahead and take the points with the Memphis Grizzlies against the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's uh, and Memphis plus six and a half uh, as, we, as we take. Also, if you like Dave's big plays here from th- uh, Tuesday Night Action, give him a call on this comp pick hotline. Here's the number, 888-375-2710. Get his documented plays from Tuesday Night NBA Absolutely free. The place he puts up on pay after you win, yours free by making the call. 888-375-2710. Get in the winner's circle. Dave Scandaletta will get you there when you give him a call on his comp pick hotline for his selections, his premium picks from Tuesday night. All right. I'd like to thank Dave the Meat Man Scandaliato from payafteryouwin.com for joining me today on the eapicks.com TV show. And that's going to do it for tonight's show. I'm Tony T. Remind you that eapicks.com is a sports monitor where handicappers go on their record to have their picks viewed by the world every single day and they're graded against a widely available number. That's going to do it for tonight. I'm Tony T. We're coming back tomorrow.